This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training with more PowerPoint tips to help you make happy hour. Four things you didn't know you could do in PowerPoint. Number one, breaking tables into shapes, lines, and text boxes. And here in PowerPoint, I have a default non-formatted table. You can see the table tools tab up there in my ribbon. And what I wanna do is to get all of the information out of it so that everything is sitting in its own individual text box that I can then use however I see fit. And I obviously don't want to retype any of the information manually. And the way to do that is to break the table into shapes, lines, and text boxes. And to do that, I'll select my table. I'll hit Control X to cut the table. You could also copy it. On my keyboard, I'll hit Control Alt V to open the paste special dialog box. I'll select picture enhanced meta file, click OK. And the only thing you need to know about a meta file is that you can ungroup it. So Control Shift G once, select yes in the dialog that opens, control shift G a second time, and the entire table has been broken into shapes, lines, and text boxes. And from here, you can simply select the information that you want and begin to move it around on your slide to build out something like this. So that's breaking the table. Number two, breaking smart art into shapes, lines, and text boxes. And here on the next slide, I have a default formatted piece of smart art if I select it, you can see the Smart Art Tools tab up there in my ribbon. And instead of using Smart Art, which can often be a pain to format and work with, I again want to extract the information, this time into shapes and text boxes that I can then use however I see fit. And again, I obviously don't want to retype any of the information manually. And the way to do that is by breaking Smart Art. I'll select the graphic. On my keyboard, hit Control Shift G for ungroup once, Control Shift G a second time, which turns the graphic in the shapes and text boxes that I can then use and rearrange however I see fit to build something that looks like this. So that's breaking smart art. Number three, breaking up a list of bullets. Here's another place where a lot of people get stuck. Most people know that a long list of bullets like this is a big no-no. But the question becomes, what can you do to generate new ideas without spending hours at the drawing board? Well, the easiest way to do this is to break your list of bullets using SmartArt. To do that, I'll select my text box from the Home tab, navigate to Convert to SmartArt, and as I hover over the different SmartArt graphics, my list of bullets is immediately thrown into a graphic. I'll select a category, which gives me some more options. You can then hunt around for a little bit of inspiration. I'm going to select this grouped list. From here, you might need to massage your bullets Enter tab a little bit, enter tab, enter tab, hit escape. From here, I can again control shift G to ungroup once, control shift G twice. From here, I'm then back to shapes and text boxes that I can then rearrange however I see fit into something like this. So that's breaking up a list of bullets. And finally, number four, my personal favorite, quickly resizing and cropping odd-sized pictures. And for this last example, I have a number of odd-sized photos, a number of different sizes and shapes, and what I wanna do is resize and crop them so that they're all the same size and shape and use them to build my layout. But as resizing and cropping photos can be a real pain, I don't wanna do any of it manually, and I can quickly do this using SmartArt. To do that, I'll first select my pictures, holding the Shift key, I'll then navigate to the Picture Tools Format tab, select Picture Layout, and I can then see what all of my pictures look like in these different SmartArt graphics. Find the uniform shape you like, I'll select this one, hit Escape, Control shift g once, twice to break the graphic. I'll then unselect my pictures or shapes filled with pictures, hit Delete to remove the titles, and I can then rearrange and resize these any way I see fit to build something that looks like this. So that's resizing and cropping odd-sized pictures. So those are four things that 99% of people don't know about PowerPoint. So welcome to the inner circle. Make sure to check out our YouTube channel and subscribe to keep up to date. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.